Hey people, what's going on? This is your boy Say One History on The Awakened Show. And before we get started, I want to tell you about a new book I just started reading titled Star Cruiser by L.A. Steele. It is a book of fiction, but it tackles a lot of the subjects that we talk about on a daily basis. And on top of that, it actually starts in the year 3011. And without giving too much of the book away, this body of work has storytelling in it from war to politics to space travel. And even though this is a book of fiction, this story has the underpinning of real life events and conspiracy theories that are ready to be labeled truth. So go ahead and check it out. You can find it on Amazon and Kindle Books and let me know what you think. And to all those people that are on the UFO and conspiracy theory groups on Facebook, I'm going to start featuring a lot more of your videos and stories. So if you have an authentic video of your own or you just think there's a story that's not getting enough attention, drop me a line and I'll be sure to check it out. We're always going to give the finder credit. And on top of that, of course, we're going to give them a big shout out with that being said. But you can find my information at the end of every video. And that'll have my Facebook page, my Facebook group. It'll also have my email. So you have numerous different ways to get in contact with me. And now that we have the advertisement out the way, we have two videos for you. And the first video is actually coming from the Facebook group UFO and ET Investigation. And the gentleman's name that posted this is Andre. And for safety purposes, we're actually just going to go by the first name. Now, when I first saw this, I immediately contacted Andre by Facebook Instant Messenger. And the first thing I wanted to ask him was if this was his original video. And indeed, this is his original footage. And he began to give me the background on the video itself. He stated that the video was actually taken on January 19th of 2017. He had had a surveillance camera aimed toward the mailbox at the end of his driveway. The tree was to be cut down by the city, but never happened. He said, I was sitting at my desk checking my video footage when I started to see this. It appears to be standing still, but he said when he actually started to play the footage frame by frame, it almost looked as if the creature or entity or whatever this is, was actually morphing. Now, when I look at this, it almost reminds me of a druid in a robe, kind of like the enemies on the Golden Axe game that you would see in their green robes. And even though this footage is in black and white and it's pretty grainy, you can still make out a very clear, visible outlining of almost a human figure. Now this obviously can just be a combination of grainy footage and just the way the tree was actually cut or grew. But that doesn't change the fact that this video is just outright creepy. And I wouldn't want to go outside in my front yard if I saw this on my video. And Andre, by horror movie rules and standards, if this continues to happen, you have to sell your house. <laughs> and moving on to our next footage, this video was equally as creepy as the last one. And when I first saw this, I immediately thought that this had to be some kind of weather phenomenon here that is just uncommon and people didn't know about it. But as I started to research the video and look for something similar, nothing at least like this came up. And for those that might say that these are light pillars, I beg to differ. And that's because light pillars are formed by ice crystals in the air. And when you see light pillars, you usually don't just see one of them. There are multiple light pillars that are all around the area and they usually have multiple colors. And furthermore, they don't shoot down from the sky in a red laser beam color. And I'm sure those that are out there will say that this is a lightning ball. But that phenomenon in itself is very uncommon and there's a 95% chance that you will never see anything like that in your lifetime. And if you happen to be one of those 5% people that actually gets a chance to see the lightning ball, it still doesn't explain the red light from the laser beam. Now, am I saying I know what this is? No, of course not, because I don't know what this is, but I do know what it's not. And it's definitely not a lightning ball 
and for damn sure not a light pillar. The characteristics of those two phenomenons are just way too different to be what we're looking at. So I ask the same question I always do, and that is, what do you think? Leave a comment, let me know if you think that this is some kind of phenomenon that we just haven't heard about yet. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be updated for all the cool new content that's coming out. And like I said before, if you're on those Facebook groups and you're actually posting a really good article or you have your own personal video footage of your own, drop me a line and we can actually go ahead and share it on the actual Facebook page or my YouTube uh, channel here. With that being said, I appreciate you guys watching and I will talk to you soon. Peace.